Now to an incident in Harrison Township that's left one man hospitalized in what his partner is calling a hate crime. The couple were riding scooters when someone pulled up and assaulted them. One of the victims spoke with our Sean Lay. Sean, uh, he says the attacker was using anti LGBTQ slurs. And that's why Andrew, the partner in this case, is calling this a hate crime. Kimberly, some good news tonight that his partner, Michael Hall, who's in McLaren Hospital, he was in the ICU. He was unconscious in critical condition with a skull fracture just a couple of days ago. We're told he is alert right now, watching right now, and is doing much better. But as you mentioned, his partner, Andrew, says this clearly to him was a hate crime. And at this point, the guy's over Mike, just like on him like a kill you and I'm, I'm pushing him back. Anthony Hamilton is traumatized after a vicious assault that landed his partner Michael Hall in the ICU at McLaren Hospital. It unfolded Tuesday night at the shopping center at Crocker and Metro Parkway. Hamilton says he and Hall were riding scooters home from Hall's work. A car pulled up and the driver he says was in a rage yelling at the two and Hamilton says the man got out and took a big swing right at Hall. He socks Mike in the face, literally punches him and Mike falls straight forward into this blacktop and doesn't move. That night, Michael Hall was in critical condition, now improving from a brain bleed, skull fracture, broken nose, fractured eye socket and memory loss. I remember pointing down and I remember looking at him going, are you OK? Like, why are you doing this? Why Dude, do you know what you did? Like you just this guy could be hurt and I'm shouting to his friend. I'm like, dude, dial 911, dial 911. Hamilton says the man screamed anti LGBTQ slurs at them. Two sheriff detectives are investigating that aspect. Hamilton says he will speak to investigators again to stress that he says slurs were used before the attack and attack the attacker's friend who was in the attacker's car couldn't even stop. I'm shocked. I'm upset. I'm scared. I get that maybe it's his friend, maybe it's his family, but if that's the case, this, at the very least, this guy needs to get help. That suspect still out there right now. A GoFundMe has been set up for Michael Hall for mounting medical costs there at the in the hospital, recovery costs, and to help him see his family once he is released from the hospital. The sheriff tells me there's no camera in that area where it happened. No video, just a, a very uh, vague description of a white sedan and a white suspect about 511. The sheriff's saying tonight, if you saw this or know anything about it, the sheriff's office needs to hear from you. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4. Okay, Sean, thank you.